Hello. Okay, so for today I want to show you how to create a 3D environment um, a space uh, using blenders with the GIS uh, plugins. So you can get a GIS plugin by go to the go to the Google search uh, type blender GIS and then so go for the first link and click on this one. So obviously you can just download download the plugin, follow the instructions. So it's very simple. So they just create uh, the 3D environment space uh, based on the, the, the real world Google map. But for today, I think so we're going to do it because since I already installed my GIS in my PC, in my PC, so right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to activate my base map here. So the base map uh, actually is going to uh, it's going to give you like a selection like where uh, where is the source of the the mapping service that you want to put on. So because for this case I want to use Google and make sure you use the satellite image. So once you have this, so it's just like okay. So they can you uh, they can you you're gonna have this the wall map in your in your viewport over here. So what I can do is. So I know it's like if let's say we want to do like the zooming to paint up the location that you want, it takes time. So what I can do is I go to the Google map in my web browser. And then copy a, a let's say copy a, a place of interest. Let's say I want the Lake Louise because I think this is very nice uh, location that you can get a very nice like a 3D mountain view or maybe you can just go a little bit upwards to the morning the morning lake over here so you're going to have the beautiful landscape like the mountain and the lake view when you create the, the 3D environments so what I'm going to do is I just right click in any location I just copy the, the GPS coordinates and then I go back to my blender over here so so here's the shortcut so what i'm going to do is just press g so it means that it's go to and then paste the the gps location that i copied earlier and then so the zoom level so it depends on how much zoom like you want to get into the to the space so let's say i want to go a little bit uh to 14 to see how it goes first it takes a while because you just need to download the data over here so now i see that this is nice I can see this is a morning uh, lake and also the mountain surrounded by the by the lake here so I think this is going to be beautiful to create the, 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 the environment so let's say I'm happy with this with this kind of zoom ratio thing so what I'm going to do next is to just press E so they're going to capture the image here so right now the image of the GPS uh, the Google Map GPS but right now it's just like totally flat it's nothing else here so because we need some high elevation data so what i'm going to do next is i just go back to the gis and then go to the get uh srtm so this is going to pull the the data from nasa to generate the height map on on this one so it takes the times because they need to uh, pull the data from the server and build a 3d space here so nice so now Based on the eye inspection, you can see that there is some little bit like you know like not like something like the bumpy. So there's a mountain. So they extruded. So they have the high and and the valley over here. So you can do some tweeting over you know the the height, the elevation things here. But you just go to the the modifier, the modifier terms here, and then go to go to the strength here. So you can adjust the, the strength. Let's say you want to go a little bit more, 1.1, or you can simply do like, like dragging. Okay, maybe two is too much. I just go for 1.5. Yeah, I just show you roughly the case here, but you see that there's a, the, I mean the, the surface is not really smooth transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, I'm going to select this, uh, click tab, go to the edit mode here. 
So I'm going to select all the uh, surface here by clicking A. Right click, subdivide for a few times. I mean, this is going to give the surface to have more depth. So when it creates the surface, uh, the, the, the elevation map here. So maybe just do another another times of the subdivide. So we have the, uh, a little bit beautiful terrain, mountain terrain with the lake terrain over here. Yeah. So this is how the CG, CG artists, I mean, from Blender, they create the, the 3D environment world, I mean, based on the, uh, the Google map. So once you have it, because it seems like it's so empty, because you want to make sure like it's like a cutoff of the image, the environment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create like, you know, the, the, the face for the side, uh, for the, all the, the sides here. So before that, I need to apply all the modifier to this one so that they can stay like this. So I'm gonna select this. So you can just click apply or just simply use Control A, so you can apply all the things here. So once you have it, I mean this is nice. But what I'm gonna do next it will be uh, apply the uh, the texture, uh, not not the texture, sorry, uh, to to extrude the surface. So go to the tab, uh, the object, uh, the edit mode here, and then select all by clicking A, and then go to E. E stands for extrude. So when you extrude, so so extrude. So this is not. Okay. So and this is, I mean, so when you look at this, so the the, the bottom surface is not flat. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do the scaling, scaling and flat the surface. So what I'm gonna do is I just press S. And then so it's ugly, but I just use the Z direction, and then make sure you make it zero, so they can flat the the surface, just like that. Just simply like click, and then now you have the beautiful, three uh, D environment cut off. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some fixing on the side here because you want to looks like you know, like a cut off, and then you have the soil on the on the side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do I'm gonna try to preview this one and do a little bit like like the tweeting on the textures to give some like you know shallow depth, uh, feeling like the like something like the, the the shadows things here. So what I'm gonna do is maybe I can just uh, activate my render environments here first. But before that, I need to set up my my render engines to cycle. And then I want to use my uh, GPU just to make the things a little bit quicker. So once you have that, so I just go to my uh, world properties here. On this one, so I need to select the the environment texture to have the HDRI to 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 light up the the scene. So what I can do is just open my HDMI uh, HDMI HDRI texture. So I don't know which one is good. So let's say we'll just choose like the not sunset backdrop cover. Let's say we just choose one of these. So you can select by yourself your own. And then so we just go to the to the render. So they're gonna start to render the, the view here. So you have a nice beautiful like sun. This, uh, they shine to the to the to the wall here, but yeah, but it's still not really like pretty right here. So we can do some adjustment over over the texture that we have here. So what I'm gonna do next is gonna pull up the new, oops, no, yeah. so I'm gonna pull up the new um, divide the, the my viewport into two, and this one I'm gonna open the new. Uh, the new surface, uh, sorry, new sh uh, shader editor here. So this is a texture actually generated based on the, the you know, the, the Google map here. So what you can do here, so I maybe I can do a little bit like the bump maps, just make it looks better. So what I'm gonna do is I just press shift A, and then you can just type, just go to search, and then you can just type bump. There we go. 
so you have the bar maps here so the bar maps I'm going to uh, I'm going to connect my colors to my height here and then from here normal to normal and then you can do some like the the adjustment to get the strength like how much do you want to go on the bump the bump maps as well as the the strength you can just go a little bit higher or can be go a little bit more crazy it's up to you so once you have this so let's say i want to have the like create something like a shadow uh view on this like because you know like the the ambient collusion so what i'm gonna do is i just press shift a on the input or just you can just type search on ambient collusion and then this is what i have here there we go so just trying to get a feeling so this is not good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the mat uh the mat uh, operation no sorry let's make a mistake here just go to here search uh mat and then we just uh, just drag to this in between so they're going to automatically divide i mean to connect those uh, two nodes together so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do uh, change my operation to uh, power. So let's say I want to increase the ambient occlusion distance to a little bit like more. But you don't see anything, but once I crank up the, the exponent value, let's say to 5, and you start to see some uh, depth over here. See that some, some shadow? But let's say I want to make it a little bit more. So yeah. So there we go. So this is okay for me. So once I have it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix the ambient collusion to my texture from the GPS here. So what I'm gonna do, I need the mixer be in between here. So I just go shift A and then so just go to color mix RGB and then you can just simply drag this in between so they can open up this for you. It's just like that. It's just so simple. So once you have that, so you just press this. And then you have to change this to the multiply. Connect back here. And so that you have this. The nice view here. And then there we go. So I'm happy with the texture that I have right now. So the next I gotta create a texture on the side here. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna drag this back a little bit here so that I have more space to work on this. So I'm gonna stop my render. I'm gonna switch to this view. So once I have it, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go enter to the object mode, uh, the edit mode. So by pressing tab again. So I wanna select the side, the, the, the side, the side thing. So make sure you change the change to the face select here and then just select uh just hold the key o the alternate key and then just click so they can select all the uh, all the other faces on the side so once you have this so probably you the better way is to do that is to go to the material here material tab and then create a new material so and then so just uh, add new material and then so and then assign select this and assign this with the mat new material that we want to work on just click assign now so now we have this but we ran out of the problem because we just assign the material without any UV mapping over here so what I'm gonna do is I just right click this and then just go to the UV red face and then we just use the smart UV project so just do whatever that you want here you can do some adjustment but i'm just uh happy with this one right now because obviously we can do some adjustment on the the tiling issues in the in the shadow edit the the, the the material editor later on okay so once we have this so i think i'm happy with that so you can change the name if you want So let's say I want to say this is the my soy uh, texture. So, so once I have the soy texture, so I'm gonna go to the 
the side here. So look at there. So when you select this, so this is a this is a map on the top here. When you select this, this is a soil uh, texture on the side that we, we assign for. So what I'm gonna do next is gonna import my my uh, the texture the texture file to the blenders. So I can just uh, create. I just click select this and just press Control Shift T. And then so I'm gonna go to my texture file here. So this is my rocks uh, texture. Yeah, because I think this is gonna be good with the rock, uh, the brown colored rocks, just to showcase like some like you know like like rocky feeling. And then there we go. So now we have that. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time because my poly is a little bit more detailed. Now you have this. So you can just obviously can just press tab to go back to the object mode and this is what you got here and then and then you can simply turn on your your render view to see how this looks like yeah. obviously this is not right so we I need to adjust the, the tiling because this is not right the texture I can adjust the scale over here so let's say three for each uh, for each uh, size to see how it goes yeah so basically this is it so the blenders uh, using the blender to create the 3d space Pretty real environment space. Yeah, so this is it.